Jamie Moriarty and I'm the regional manager here at the Teddy Bear Factory. How did you get your dog? The board of directors and I chose me to be the regional manager, as is traditionally done. And what's your goal as regional manager? To make money. You must be Simba. Yep. I'm Jane Moriarty. I'll be training you today. Since you're a newcomer, we'll be keeping a pretty close eye on you, making sure you get everything done the right way. Um, let me introduce you to two of our employees here. This is Peter Phillips. Here he is. Good luck learning the ropes around here. I remember when I was new, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Okay. And that's Maximus Reapus. Hey. You look like a pretty smart kid. All you gotta do is just ask a lot of questions, and you'll do just fine. Oh, we're working to you guys. Man, it's too bad I'll never progress past the point of being a measly cotton stuffer. I guess some jobs are only reserved for those people in the upper class. Oh well, I guess it's a job. Hi, Father. Hello. Father, I'm tired of being a cotton stuffer. It's all I do, and it's all I ever will do. Perry, just, just be thankful for the blessings that you do have, that you have this opportunity to work. Just think, your menial labors allows the boss, your bosses in the upper class to to have fancy cars, to have the huge houses, and to send their kids to the fancy schools. You will be rewarded in heaven for your labors. And that's the most important thing, heavenly rewards. Thank you, Father. It makes me feel better about my situation. I guess it's a job, and I guess I will get heavenly rewards for the service I'm doing. Thank you. Hey, honey. I'm home. Why are you so happy? Look at our situation. Look at what we live in. How can you be happy when we live in a cardboard box while you work for people for living nations? I don't know, I talked to the preacher today and he made me feel so much better about his situation. He said we'll get rewards in heaven for what we're doing. That's great, Harry. There's another meeting tonight. Maybe you should go. Not another rebellion meeting, I hope. I have some ideas that might help, okay? I mean, rewards in heaven are great, but don't you want more place for our baby? Yeah, I suppose I'll go. Well, it was okay. I mean, they uh, they labeled me as a newcomer and they, they treated me like I, I was clueless, like I had no idea what I was doing. And for a second, I actually kind of believed that. That stinks. Yeah. But all I had to do was clean and, you know, so nothing really new. How was your day? Um, it was okay. No, it was horrible. Oh. So, my teacher put me in the bad list because She gave me detention, and then I tried to run away so I could go play with my friends. And then she caught me. That was horrible. She said that I'm bad again. And she said, why? Why did I try to do that? Why did I try to run away from detention? But I said it was because I'm a bad girl, you know? That's what happens. She said I'm on the bad list. That means I'm bad. That's what bad kids do, right? But. Then after that, there's a bully, and the bully said that my name is so weird. She said, labeling is weird, but I think it's pretty mean. But then my best friend, she said that I'm a nice person. And she told the bully that the bully's just a liar, and she's mean and strange. I'm so confused. Today is just crazy. I don't know what to think anymore. The bully says I'm weird, but my best friend thinks I'm nice. I think she thinks I'm a good friend. And then well, my teacher said I'm just bad, and I don't know. But my grandma, well, no, she thinks I'm crazy too. She said that I'm so crazy that I just drive her nuts all the time. And then, but grandpa, grandpa says that I'm nice. Grandpa says that I'm a good girl. Mommy does too sometimes. I don't know, I guess I'm just weird and nice and a good friend and bad and crazy and really crazy and a good girl too. Guess that's it. I figured it out! Shh! Can't you see I'm hiding? Why are you hiding? 
Why should I work when I get the same paycheck regardless of how much I do? The factory meets its quota and everyone's all happy and I get my paycheck. You just laid it on boardwalk and with hotel so that will be two thousand dollars. Thank you for supporting the Keep Max Rich Fund. Don't worry, you will be paid in due time. I'm sure I will. Maximus Reefus and Steven Smith to the office to meet the boss. Max Reefus, the boss is waiting on you. Oh great, great. What does the boss want now? Don't send me to jail while I'm gone. I just met with Steven. It turns out that our office has a discrepancy of our financial account. We have a thousand dollars missing. It must be your Steven. What do you have to say for yourself? That is ludicrous. I've worked for this company for ten years. That just makes no sense. Why would I steal that money? You just can't trust anyone, boss. It has to be Steven. Alright. Thanks, Max. Despicable me. Why ask why better yet? Why not? Why are you marking X Steven Smith to the office, please? We're gonna have to let you go. What? Why are you firing me? Do you really think that Steven stole the money? No. However, by firing Steven, it keeps everyone in line. They also did it because it means more money. Steven is the second highest paid employee. Whoever the thief is, he or she will be caught. Which will bring me more money in the long run. Max, I haven't seen you in a couple months. Yeah, Father. It's been... That's a rough month. Sorry. My father, he had to go to the emergency room. And as a result, because of all that money, I've had no money to scrape by. I came here today asking, can you please get me a loan of money? Um, I don't know. Funds are kind of tight right now. I was afraid you might say that. It's okay, Father. I'll just go to another church. Oh, wait. Um... Well, you know, I, I, I could give you the funds and, and just give regards to your father. Oh, that means a lot, Father. Thank you so much. Actually, my father has been dead for nine years. God bless his soul. As you see, everybody supports the Keep Not Church Fund. This is Officer Clark and Officer Tyon. We found evidence to link you to the missing money, and I've turned you into the cops to be handled by the law now. Fantastic! We're actually taking a three week vacation this week, next month. That'll be great. That sounds really nice. What? I've worked for this company for 10 years and I didn't get any three week vacations. I'm a security officer. I have a higher position, and higher positions need better benefits. So, Father, I am so depressed. I can't handle it. I thought when I took this job as a cop, I, it would just help my status in society. Now that I have such an awesome job, no one wants to be my friend. It's like everyone's too intimidated to hang out with me. And it's just not as fun as I thought it would be to have such a prestigious job. What should I do? Well, have you thought about not flaunting around to everyone so much? Yeah, but I like my job. I want people to know I have it. It's pretty sweet. Well, try being humble. See how that works. All right. For years, we have worked under the boots of oil. For years, we have toiled and labored and given nothing in return. For years, we have turned the other cheek, but now that time will end. Now, now is the time for us to fight. Yeah. Now is the time for us to move on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.